Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. Hello, pleasures, pleasure serving you guys. Okay, this is for Brenda. She is a subscriber on this channel, and Brenda has asked me to make peach shortcake. Brenda, this is for you. Peach shortcake. Okay, so I have everything ready to go. Let me just show you how we're going to make Brenda's peach shortcake. All right, let's do it. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Share the video. Subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start out with the peaches. I have two cans, which is... 15.25 ounces each, okay? So this is one can, two cans. You can use more cans of peaches if you like that. That part doesn't matter, that's up to you. Okay, now we're going to pour the juice from the can of peaches through this strainer, okay? Then after we pour the juice off, we're going to put the peaches in this bowl. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to do the second can. Now the reason why we're separating the the uh, syrup part of, uh, from the um, peaches is because we're gonna thicken the syrup part and we're gonna uh, thicken it. Okay. Okay. Now you see we have all the syrup part of the peaches in this uh, pan. Oh, I got a little peach left in there. Oh, okay, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, right? Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to actually cut the peaches up a little, okay? Because it's going to go over, oh, and I got this pound cake, okay, so let's do the math while we're at this. The pound cake costs $139, now if you don't want to use pound cake, you can make biscuits or any other type of uh, cake that is strong enough to hold the peaches, okay. So this costs $139. I got two cans of peaches that were $1.70 each. So that's um so that's three forty and uh four five. So we're up to five dollars so far. Okay, so I'm just taking a knife and I'm just slicing it. It doesn't have to be perfect or nothing like that. You just want you don't want it as big as these pieces are right here. And what happens when you slice up the peaches? This gives you more.
Okay, so I want to show you. I cut them up into bite sizes like this. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to work on a syrup. I have here uh, a cup of brown sugar, but I'm not going to put that much in. I'm going to actually just do a half a cup. So let me get a half cup measure. And I'm going to take and pack the sugar, brown sugar in. Pack means you push down until you can't push down no more. Okay, that's about a pack half cup. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. So we're going to put that in. Okay, now we're going to get our vanilla. This is invitation vanilla, but you can use pure vanilla. Whatever you have is okay. Now let's go ahead and put a nice, um, let's put a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, now I have a stick of butter here. So there's some lines on the butter that represent tablespoons. So each line is one tablespoon. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight tablespoons on one stick of butter. Okay, so let's go ahead and we want two tablespoons. So I'm going to count. One line, two lines, and cut it right there, okay? And we're going to put this in the syrup. Okay, so now we have our vanilla, we have our brown sugar, and we have our butter. Now we're going to add some cinnamon. Now, you know, uh, seasonings and spices is your choice, how much you want to use or don't use, okay? So, let's, I'm going to do what I think is right. Okay, that's about maybe six tablespoons of cinnamon. Okay, now I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to turn the fire on. Okay. And we're going to let that start cooking.
Okay. Now, once this um, starts to heat up, then we're going to dilute some cornstarch. Okay, and I say dilute. You're gonna, we're going to add cornstarch and water together. And the reason why you do that is to, it, the cornstarch is a powdered form. And so you want to uh, bring it from a powdered form to a liquid form, okay? And then we're going to add it to our syrup to thicken it up. We start diluting our corn, corn, uh, corn starch. Okay, I have a tablespoon measure. I have one tablespoon full. And I'm kind of wiping it on the edge of the of the box to level it off. Two tablespoons. Three leveled tablespoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch. Oh, it smells good already, guys. Okay, now I'm going to add water to this. Okay, so you want to do baby steps with the water. So let's go ahead with one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Three tablespoons of water. You want it runny, sort of like um, a scramble egg. Let me show you this. See, it's pretty runny, right? Okay. Okay, it's starting to cook. And then the butter's melting, almost gone. Almost melted. So the syrup is already pretty thick. some water on standby just in case it gets too thick I can put a, a little water in it to um, make it a consistency that we want to deal with so that we can mix the peaches and it's not too thick that it doesn't um, you don't want it too thick because uh, you don't want like uh, 
like a pancake or nothing. You want it to kind of run. Okay, so everything is melted. So now we're going to add the cornstarch. You see I'm adding just a little at a time. And I'm letting it cook to see how thick it's going to get. can feel it getting thick because it's getting heavier to for me to stir. Okay, at this point, let's put the peaches in. That will thin it out some before we decide to go and add water. Yeah, I need some water. So I'm going to add a little water. You see, I didn't pour a whole glass of not, uh, nothing, right? Probably like five or six tablespoons full of water. So look at this consistency, guys. You see, it is running, right? Pretty fast. See that? The longer you let this cook with the cornstarch, the thicker it will get. So at some point you need to cut it off. Cut the fire off. Okay, I'm going to put another couple of tablespoons of water. Okay, that's all the water that we're going to be using. Okay, I'm going to cut the fire off. So now I'm going to pour the peaches back into the bowl that it, where they came from. Let me let you take a look at that. Looks pretty good, right? Now the butter really helps to give you a nice silky looking um, look and taste. Helps with the taste.
Here we go, guys. Guys, look at that. Okay, so this is one half of what we're going to do. Now I need to make some have a whipping cream okay so I'm gonna get the ninja and set it up and I'm gonna come right back with you and um, we're gonna whip some whipped cream okay one sec okay so let me give you the word of the day before I do the whipped cream the word of the day the word of the day is school school Today, in Massachusetts, the kids all started back to school full time. They were all excited. Aren't you excited for them? And they went all dressed up with their clothes on as if it was the first day of school. I am so, so happy that they are happy. And to all the kids out there, uh, may you enjoy school. May you embrace your friends and your teachers that you haven't seen in a very long time. And remember, remember, they are still there waiting to embrace you too. Oh, you guys enjoy yourself, okay? Learn, but enjoy yourself. Now this word of the day was for the families to share with their children. Tell them Grandma Ray said, enjoy school. Okay, that's the word of the day. All right, let's make our whipped cream. Okay, so I have some heavy cream. This is a one pint. I'm going to pour half the pint in. I think that's good enough. I don't think I would need more than that. I can make some more if I do. So I put the um, a half of a pint of heavy cream in. And this is one fourth cup of sugar. But I'm not going to use one fourth cup. I'm only going to sprinkle a little at a time. Okay, that's not even... A fourth of a fourth. It's probably, I'd say, four tablespoons. Okay? Okay, I'm going to lock it down and I'm going to hit boost because we want to whip. to number 27. Oh, looks like we are ready. You can tell when whipped cream is ready because when you put it in, look, it sticks to the spoon. You see that? See it sticking to the spoon? It's not falling off? That's how you can tell if whipped cream is ready. The bottom is a little soft, so I'm going to whip it one more time for like two or three seconds. And we will be good. That's about five seconds. Okay.
going to put the whipped cream in this bowl. Okay. You gotta move the ninja. Okay, so now we have our whipped cream, our peaches, and now let's slice our pound cake. Okay, this is our pound cake. Let me adjust the camera down so you can see better. There we go. All right. And let me get a plate to put it on. Oh, I got something even better to put it on. I got these nice fancy ice cream dishes okay so let me get my and I got a surprise for you I have some Briars peach ice cream <laughs> go along with it guys We are in for a treat. Okay. Okay, I have some hot water to dip the scoop in, okay? Okay, so the first thing I want to do is... Oh, I need a spoon. That would help. Is I want to put some peaches on the bottom of the dish. So you see where I'm going with this, right? And now I'm going to put 
I'm going to cut the cake. And I think I want to take and make like little square pieces with the cake. Like so. Okay. We're going to put that in. Oh my, 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 this is going to be good. Okay, so I cut up in the little square pieces. One second, please. Okay, so now that we have the cake on top of the peaches, now we're going to put the ice cream on top of the cake. The peach ice cream. So you get it guys. Peach on top of peach on top of peach. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to get another scoop. So let me let you see what I'm doing. So here we have the peaches, we have the pound cake, which is our short cake, okay? And the peach ice cream on the top. So now let's top this off with some more peaches. And let's get that juice first. We want that juice to run all down on top of the ice cream and the cover, the pound cake. Oh. Oh, guys, see, now that's just the juice, okay? Now I'm going to bring them peaches to you right now. Oh, my, my, my. This is almost dangerous. Look at that, guys. Stop it. I have some company coming over and I was going to surprise them and break this out. I want that ice cream right in the middle. What do you say, guys? Huh? Now we got to put that whipped cream on there, and it's going to be all set. Wow. Okay, and I need just a tiny peach right in the middle to top that off so you know what time of day it is. Boom! I want a bigger piece than that. Here we go. Guys, look at that. Another view? Oh, uh, don't you want to just eat this right now? Oh, please make yours, okay? Okay, so let me taste. One second, let me clean this up. All right, guys. One last look. And I my company is here. My friend is here with her daughter. And her daughter seen the peach shortcake and she wants to taste for you guys. Okay? So let me introduce you to her. One second, let me adjust the camera. Uh 
Uh, nope, my head is cut off. Hold on. Can you come with me? Let's see. Okay, come up close. Okay. So, this is Isabel. Isabel, say hi to the YouTube family. Hello. And so, she's a little shy, but she wanted to come on and try the, uh, the peach shortcake. We're gonna try it for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you try it, I'm gonna step out the camera. You're gonna look right in there and you're gonna taste it and you're gonna tell them what you taste and how you like it and all that good stuff, okay? Okay, okay so you want this one? Sure. Okay, so you're gonna show them what you're gonna taste first up to the camera. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait, uh. wait, wait, you gotta knock it over. Okay. What did you get that time? This is it good? It's good? It what did you really taste? Good. I taste the peas, the ice cream, and the, um, what is it called? The banana bread? It, uh, pound cake. Oh, pie. Huh? Pound cake. Oh, pound cake. Uh-huh. This is really good. Yeah? Mm hmm You, you think you're gonna, you wanna make that one day? Yeah. You, for your mom? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Okay, so you heard it guys, right? Our mom is going to hold them to that. She's going to make it for her mom. <laughs> well, let me taste with you because I'm a little jealous. Oh, let's see. Oh wow. Told you. <laughs> So the first thing I taste is the peach ice cream. Did you taste that? Yeah, I did. Oh, and the creaminess of the uh, whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the peaches? It's good. Ah. Yeah. And the sauce? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. You heard it from us. It's awesome, awesome. Brenda, this is for you. Uh, you have you asked me to make you peach shortcake, and I delivered. Okay? All right. Talk to you soon. Love you, love you, love Bye. you. Bye. Bye.